Hello and welcome to my next video in the uh, Blade Steel Guide. I did have a request from a subscriber to for my next video to be N690CO or N690 as it's more frequently called. Please do on a first come first serve basis put a comment down below which knife steel you wish me to talk about next. I'm kind of edging towards S30V or maybe VG10 uh, but it's completely up to you this is uh, you know your channel your your knife videos at the end of the day so I'd welcome your suggestion let's kick it off the N690 CO first of all what does it stand for well I'm assuming the N stands for the nitrogen please shoot me down if that's incorrect and uh, and other companies have just used N for whatever other reason and I believe that that's because it's used in place of carbon for the kind of basis of the steel matrix um, and that's because it's got corrosion advantages and the CO one would think that that's because it's got some cobalt in there what is this steel well I've only got four uh, knives with the steel and you can see there N690 CO I use these knives almost every day I swap them around I have a pocket rotation love that phrase in which by I use them I only have them in for, for Spyderco I don't have any other makes that, that use the steel well, it's an Austrian made stainless steel which is comparable to 440C in performance and value. Made in Austria, some may call it the Buller Udenholm steel because I think that's kind of like the area in, in which it's taken from the mountain there, uh, or mountains, I think it's a mountain. It has excellent edge qualities and corrosion resistance. 440C is, is quite common but it's still excellent at holding an edge. But this, this is better in my opinion, it's a very biased opinion, but I prefer it to 440C. It's very similar in that it's got this added cobalt in and what that does is it actually gives a longer lasting edge and improves the wear resistance and edge retention. That, that extra bit of cobalt just bumps it up more than 440C. Uh, a lot of people actually refer it to 440F because it's, it's that much of a, a leap up. I do prefer it. It's very, it's a strong steel. I still don't think this is a soft steel by any any means. Um, it's still rocking 50 to 60 on the HRC scale. Um, and the edge itself is, is fantastic. If you can get a great edge on it, it's as easy to sharpen as OS8, but it's got excellent corrosion and, and edge retention capabilities it really does it's strong but it's not brittle like s30v or or d2 or, or other blade steels whereby the, the edge itself is not going to chip on you and um, it's just going to roll i mean this is quite dull actually this this uh, spider k this needs a bit of a sharpen but a lot of the time because it's so damn good at keeping its edge it just needs a few runs on the strop rather than you know taking away any of that metal it is becoming increasingly popular. Spyderco wouldn't use it on some of their newest and, and kind of mainstream knives if it wasn't, if they didn't have uh, faith in it. Um, they're obviously very happy with the results uh, from the steel in Austria. The Spyderk, which I think is quite a big seller for them now as well, they used it on that. I would not be surprised if I see it on the next iteration of the UK PK. They're testing the water, I think, with this and the Spyderco Urban, which I'm hoping to give you a review very soon. I hope you're uh, looking forward to that. But probably a lot of you went and bought that urban before I even had chance to. So that's one of the reasons of the uh, of the time it's taken so long to to get that and review it. But anyway, moving back on the subject, they're using it in mainstream knives. They chose it for the spidey for the for the squeak, and they chose it for the spidey K. They could have chosen CTS BD1 because this knife, the squeak, is I think the same or probably more than a UK PK but it's so much smaller and one of the main reasons is because of this this blade steel which is excellent someone did ask me in another video what should I go for a squeak or a UK PK and I said the UK PK because it's it's more of a a useful leaf shaped blade blade and it's it's got the larger handle it's just it's just in a way a better knife but the steel on the squeak is so much better. Hopefully Spyderco 
is listening and they will put the, the N690 on the UK PK um, because that would be a, a very good addition to the to the range. So they are using it in main mainstream uh, knives. It's a high performance stainless steel, although I would actually put it in the category of stain proof steel bit because it has a much higher resistance to the elements and corrosion than just your normal conventional stainless steels. And as such, this N690 can be used in aggressive and highly corrosive environments that have high, high humidity. So if you're in Florida, or if you're in the, in the, the southern part of uh, North America, I would pick up N690 over S30V. I really would. S30V has has rusted on me a couple of times, but this added uh, using the nitrogen and the added cobalt really does uh, help. So much so that Tops, if you've heard of Tops knives, they make a lot of survival knives, pretty good ones as well. Um, I still haven't got my hands on one yet I'd love to and Fox knives tops used it in their CQT Magnum 711 uh, I'll put a picture now there you go and uh, also Fox knives military division use n690 and the extrema ratio yeah e even those kind of areas are, are experimenting with n690 so you can use it in these harsh corrosive environments the composition of the steel itself like i said it, it rolls about the 58 to 60 i've seen a lot of them about 69 hrc the composition it's got 1.07 carbon chromium is 17 the cobalt is 1.5 the manganese is 0.4 and the molybdenum is 1.1 it's got the silicon of 0.4 and vanadium only a little bit of 0.1 so that that's the composition of the steel like I said it sharpens almost as easily as OS 8 and and gets you a incredibly similarly sharp edge but it just keeps that edge for for you know so much longer it would rather roll the edge itself would rather roll than chip or, or break it's not really a chopping blade steel it's more of a skinning very fine work a lot of people do compare it to s30v and vg10 I, I personally would compare it more to vg10 it has more chromium than vg10 but less vanadium and a slightly little bit less of molybdenum if that means anything to you then there you go um so it's, it's just got a little bit more chromium in it than VG10. That's kind of like my blade steel knife guide. As I said, there's not many manufacturers that use it, but they are starting to get to grips with it. It hasn't been around an awful long time, but it is an incredible uh, successor to 440C. And if I was going to choose 440C over N690, I'd go for the N690 because of that extra um, corrosion resistance and it's, it's, it's better suited to ha harsh environments. If you left one 440C steel uh, knife outside for a year and one N690, I'm pretty sure that the N690 would uh, would come out the better of the two. But really at this point, you're looking at, you, we're almost breaking into the high-end steels I feel so that's why the next video with the S30V would be a great um, stepping stone and um, to move on to next but my personal experience with it is very similar to everybody else's it's an incredible steel yes it, over here in the UK you're talking about 50 60 pounds for quite a small small um, knife but the steel from Austria it is fantastic it's one of my favorite steels and I always pay special attention to knives that come out in this steel more so than S30V I really do uh, although it, that is a good steel that's been my blade steel guide for this week please do put in the comments below what blade steel you'd like me to talk about next week and uh, I will do that I'm going to have a selection of knives as well next week it's going to be an extra video I'm going to have a selection of knives on on this table give you a little bit of an update on knife related videos and give you some things to think about for future videos so I hope you'll join me in that video and offer some suggestions because like I've always said this started out as a knife channel it'll always be a knife channel and you know your feedback and your suggestions and uh, input is greatly appreciated and it what it's what keeps this channel running keeps producing all the all the content so thanks ever so much for joining me today thanks for watching Take care.